Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets, building them, and other Lego related content. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Lego Creator Paris Postcard. This is set number 40568. It has 213 pieces and I paid $15 for this set. I recently did a video about the London Postcard, which was my first of the postcard series that I I built and I will use that as kind of a baseline for when I look at this one and if in the future I look at any other ones and I will also like I did with the London one compare it to for this one in particular I will compare it to kind of the architecture skyline for Paris because uh, I think there are some similarities at the very least in some of the subject matter here so the first thing to take notice is the the postcards I believe are all the same price I think they all come in at that $15 price point the London set had like 277 pieces uh, a lot of them were small, but I think in all the postcards, there's going to be a lot of small pieces. Um, this one, same price, 213 pieces. So a good amount of difference there, um, a pretty high percentage difference of the total pieces. So um, I don't know much to think about that. I don't know if these sets are particularly good value for like parts anyway. So the price per piece doesn't really matter to me necessarily, but it is something that I keep in mind uh, or in the back of my mind. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put it together. Uh, I will speed the video up while I build and then I'll slow it back down to give my thoughts. So until then, enjoy.
Okay, so that is the Paris postcard, the Lego Creator Paris postcard. Um, so because I can use the uh, the um, London postcard as kind of a baseline, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, this has less pieces. It does feel like it has less pieces, um, but some things are somewhat similar. I mean, the overall scale is similar, but if I grab the London one, um, there's just more going on here than there is in the Paris one, and that's okay. I mean, the bulk of the pieces probably on the London one is in this in this big Ben and, and Paris just doesn't have maybe the same kind of uh, structure that they would want to highlight, Lego would want to highlight um, in these postcards. So what we do have is Eiffel Tower. We have um, some suggestion of a, a building underneath here. I don't know if it would be like the Louvre or something. There's no even little clear piece to, to indicate like a, a, glass pyramid or anything like that. We have this bridge and this roadway. I don't know what roadway that is supposed to be, nor do I know uh, exactly what this boat or this sticker on top of that boat is supposed to represent here. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. So if this is a big um, landmark bridge, I'm not aware of it and I maybe should have done my research, but I'm doing Lego, so. Uh, but I don't think this bridge makes, if that is indeed a bridge, which it appears it is, uh, It I don't think that makes an appearance in the, for example, the Paris architecture skyline. And then we have the Arc de Triomphe, or this, this arch, this arc. Uh, and that's pretty good. There's some stickers there. I didn't love seeing that. I had to work a little bit to get them aligned, but it's not too bad. There's one of the molded candle fire pieces in there, which is okay. And then the actual overall build of that structure is nice. I like how the different piece usage in here to get these rounded effects and then a little slightly different up there. And that's all um, quite good. The Eiffel Tower looks better than I, th I thought it would. I mean, it's pretty clear how it's built on the booklet and on the box, but it came together rather nicely. And I liked how it used this bit that was kind of part built into the background. Really good. Um, the hot air balloon, I don't know if Paris is fair, famous for hot air balloons. They may very well be. Um, it feels a little tacked on there, and there might be another structure in, in Paris that I would have uh, considered putting there. If we want to take a look at the extra pieces here, like the London set and maybe all of these postcard sets, there are so many little pieces in this set that as a byproduct you get a ton of extras and um that's nice i mean uh, without that you know it's just it's different i mean this is that's a good amount of extras because there's so many tiny pieces we get an extra mold an extra bar element some extra one by one tiles studs some different shaped tiles some slopes and um that's all uh, quite nice. So um, standard pieces that you would get extra because they're so light, but uh, good that they're there. And this is okay. So now, like I did with the London, one of the things I wanted to do was compare it to the, the Paris Skyline architecture set, which I have right here and I will be doing a video about some architecture stuff in the future. So what I thought was very interesting here, obviously the Eiffel Tower's a little different in complexity there and that's to be expected. Uh, but similar, I mean, they use similar parts. The use of this hubcap kind of, not hubcap, but this like wheel well type element or mudguard element uh, here is really nice where in this one we have these printed clear 
uh, with print on them pieces there but then just using these these same kind of um these tiles the like slotted tiles i don't know what else to call those uh is is very very similar so they evoke the same thing this is a little brick built flag this one is a sticker neither one is is that much of an issue for me this does have a a louvre and on one level i think that little um grooved brick in the back there could perhaps be representing that but i'm not sure this one does have this little pyramid we have some other buildings in paris and this one which i can't remember the name of mont something my friend who lives in paris said this is maybe considered the ugliest uh building in paris and ruined the skyline to some extent but uh, either way that's not represented in here uh very much and, and maybe paris or lego wouldn't want that to be in the postcard so they'd rather have this hot air balloon and then we do have the same arch de triomphe and there is a a a uh, orange translucent orange element there not the molded fire piece and if we look at these two side by side the one on the postcard is actually bigger um it's taller and it's it's wider than the one on the architecture set and uh that's pretty interesting to me i i um you know they have their own deal with scale i think uh you know if we look at how big the eiffel tower is here versus how big the you know to comparing it to the arch here and then look at the scale here comparing to this to arch so this feels much more simple much more cartoony and kind of much more like a postcard and that's okay so the architecture skyline is evoking i think a different a different feeling and a different type of thing than these these postcards do and that's okay so comparing both the london postcard to the london skyline and this paris postcard to the paris skyline i think there's a lot to be said about these uh i think you know if if a younger builder who maybe isn't ready to tackle all the tiny pieces of a for example architecture set but is interested in traveling or interested in the world or or interested in architecture and buildings this is maybe a good entry point for that and uh you know there are stickers in here that's that's okay they none of them were too difficult to put on um and and that's good and i think these just are nice little kind of postcard <laughs> like they evoke the sense of a postcard really really well for me and these could 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 stand up next to each other could be with the skylines could be with you know any other kind of thing and what's what's neat for me is that because i have the skyline uh, architecture set of this and i'm trying to get because i believe they did an arch de triomphe uh, and maybe a louvre set of architecture stuff and i would like to get my hands on those to kind of have different scales of all these similar kind of things and same too with london so london they have i have the architecture skyline but i also have for example the trafalgar square uh architecture set which is included in the skyline but not in the postcard and kind of having those different different things and looking at stuff from different scale i think is really really interesting and fun so i uh, i've been impressed by these they're not too complicated they come together really quick i like all the blue tile and then the other colored tiles to kind of suggest maybe other buildings behind there or other stuff going on and all in all I, i'm a fan of this you know value for the money um i'm not sure i'd probably like maybe this one to be a little cheaper i thought the london one was like pretty right on at 15 dollars, but because this has considerably less pieces i maybe would have liked this to be slightly cheaper and that's okay you know if i compare this to something like certain like marvel mech armor sets that are also 15 dollars, this has a lot more pieces but those sets would usually like come with a either a minifigure or a minifigure head or something and there's a lot of play value there this doesn't have a ton of play value so for they might be for different type of builders different types of kids or different types of people and that's all right i like that they're available i think they're a, a good idea now 
having built two of these, I'm not sure how interested I am in the other ones. There's Beijing, there's New York, and there is, I believe, an Australia one, which is a little odd for them to, I think, be like cities and then have Australia. But either way, um, I would consider getting into these potentially, uh, but that's for a later date. If you liked this video, consider uh, giving it a like. And if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the LEGO content I will be doing in the future, including videos about all of my architecture sets that I have built uh, in the past. So I will be reviewing those and talking about architecture in a, in a different way. And I have a lot of other sets to talk about to review uh, on the way. So subscribe to um, stay in the loop for those. And until then, thanks. Bye.